Welcome back guys to No Solutions. I'm gonna be putting together a WPF Windows application or desktop application that allows you to view the employees table that we were working with in my other videos. I'll just give you a quick demo. By the way, uh, before I get started, if you like my videos, please like the video and subscribe. So the video series is gonna come out on May 8th. So this weekend coming up, you should see the actual coding for this application step-by-step -step on how to do it. So basically we have a table in the Nuno temp database called employees in this table we have seven employee records as you can see here so let's go back into the application so when you fetch it you get your seven employee records you can do uh filtering right filters the rows you could also do a fuzzy search and then or you can do a pull an id directly so i'm gonna actually just get all of them so we have seven employees if i you can see i can select the items in the row in the data grid if i double click one of these i get this edit employee window as you can see here if you look right now i have carla selected if i change carla to let's say john and i hit save you can see that carla has now become john if i go into the database and i just do a refresh if you look here here's carla right here right let's refresh execute this and you can see the database got updated go back into the employees program and go back into John and just revert that back to Carla and uh, you can see that the update will reflect it. The other thing is um, when you go into this edit employee window, I have these previous and next buttons that you can, you can see like if I move this out of the way, you can see right now it's very faint, but you can see if, if I, when I click next, it's basically selecting the next record and you'll see that it changes. You can see I'm going from one record to the other. It's basically cycling through the record. So the cool thing about this is that to do this, I'm actually using events that uh, an event callback, which is defined in the edit employee window, but it's subscribed to by the parent window. That way when I hit next and back, it basically asks the parent window to move to the next or the previous record and then notifies the edit employee window of what is the new employee that was that's record that's now selected and that causes the window to refresh like so when i click on this you know you can see here it's moving from one record to the other and then once the window changes the record it pushes that employee object down to the edit employee window so that's pretty much it guys this is what i'm gonna go through uh, in this video series so i'll see you this weekend Take care. Bye.